AI will accelerate students' learning who use it properly, and it could also, you know, kind of dumb them down as well by just using, I'm just going to throw it into AI chat engine and let it write my papers for me. So if teachers leverage it properly, it could be a, you know, huge, huge learning tool for them. BusinessJournalDaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. Who's the only local bank with a mobile mortgage app? Farmers. Download the app to contact your lender, calculate payments, securely scan and upload documents, and check the status of your loan. Fiercely local, fiercely loyal, Farmers. So we're using AI in the classroom um, really to augment their learning. So the students could ask it questions about their code, and especially when they're trying to, deb to debug it. Instead of spending countless hours going through Google and like documentation online, which is a valuable lesson, and they, they do learn that, they could also use AI and say, hey, I don't understand this part of my code. I know it works. I don't know why it works. Can you explain this to me? And it will really start to augment their learning. What AI should really start doing is being like a tutor to you. Say, hey, I'm doing this math, explain this equation to me. You know, and then you can ask it more and more layers deeper and deeper. How is this math working? You know, explain these functions to me, explain why this graph works, whatever it is. It should really be used as a personal tutor, less than, hey, give me the answer so I don't have to think. My students now are accomplishing more faster than the students I had seven years ago. In fact, I almost feel bad because I look at the rate at which they're learning. Um, and I look back at my previous classes, I'm like, oh my God, if this was only available back then, you'd be so much further ahead today. I was always interested in computers since I was little. My uncle always messed around with these computer systems called Raspberry Pi. They're real small single board computers, about the size of a credit card. And he just made different like mini game consoles and I've just always been interested in that kind of stuff since I was little. So once this is up and running, you'll be able to say what you would like into the mic the bot takes your voice and sends it to ChatGBT, which is an AI system that can answer a bunch of questions. It goes out to the internet, takes information, compresses it down, and gives it to you in a nice, good, just short response. So you could say, for example, what was the date that World War II started? It will take what you say, send it over to ChatGBT, then it will come back to you and you'll be able to actually listen to it. We just were kind of trying to think of different ideas and he also likes to use the Raspberry Pis, so we were just trying to think of something small that we could make fairly quickly, but it's also efficient, and uh, I don't know, we were just kind of talking, and that's what we thought of, so. Currently, we're in the middle of working on, it's a scanner. Uh, it, it uses a database mixed with some recognition and detection for objects. Basically, what it does is you, you take a picture of an object, and it can detect and recognize what the object is. Like if you take a picture of a dog, it's gonna know it's a dog. And then it's gonna do a reverse search and like look up where you can get dogs or like how much a dog would be. Uh, I've always been interested in computers and things like that and my dad does work kind of similar to this. So I thought maybe it'd be fun to try something new and learn a little bit more. And I'm, I'm really enjoying this and I've learned a lot. I have recently worked on a game. You pick, you like pick a little character, and then you can have it move to like a certain area. You can either pick one one of the characters or like a whole cluster of it, okay. and it moves to an area that you want it to move to. Yeah, it actually is enjoyable. Mm -hmm. I'm working on like the design um, behind it, and I really love doing the design and stuff with it. I like making my own like things like having my creativity just like come to life. I've been trying to find a like career that I wanted to do because like I wanted to make games and I saw that this was like kind of like a gateway to it. We don't we you know we don't make games in here because like that's not all that it's about but like the like the background programming the um like some of the assets that software has, it's in game development. AI will accelerate students learning who use it properly, and it could also, you know, kind of dumb them down as well by just using, I'm just going to throw it into AI chat engine and let it write my papers for me. So if teachers leverage it properly, it could be a, you know, huge, huge learning tool for them. BusinessJournalDaily.com, Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank.
Who's the only local bank with a mobile mortgage app? Farmers. Download the app to contact your lender, calculate payments, securely scan and upload documents, and check the status of your loan. Fiercely local, fiercely loyal, Farmers.